All right, folks. Um, all right, Tom, you got it? Starting a little it, shaky buddy. here, but uh, I got I'm it. out of town right now. I'm definitely not at my house. But uh, I got to tell you, folks, uh, can you hear me all right, Tom? I can hear you, Nino. All hear right. So let's talk about some gematria, you know, um, synchronicities. And there's a lot of powerful people, uh, a lot of powerful organizations that that literally live by this. I mean, I guess one of the first, first people that brought every, brought this to everyone's attention was Tesla, correct? Tesla, yeah, he he's got the three six nine numbers. He said if you knew the key, if you knew the power of three six nine, you would have a key to the universe. And uh, that goes into like the other physics, the higher physics that you know Juanito talks about and. Uh, Tesla time machines and everything else. But even for us kind of mere mortals, there's there's numbers that come up. You talked about the license plate up on his stand. This, is, this will prove it to people, all right? So when I talk numbers, I'm talking the order of the alphabet, the sequence of the alphabet. For example, A is the first letter, so it equals one. B is the second letter, so numerically it equals two. C, three, all the way through to Z or Z, 26th letter. Interesting enough, Z, 26, comes to God. It comes to card. It comes to game. So people can think about that. But when on his rostrum, you'll notice there's a there's a text donation campaign number, which is always the same. And he actually spoke about it about 10 days ago. He actually drew people's attention to it because I've been talking about it for years. But he told everyone, yeah, and he read it out. He said 88022. So his text number is 88022. And uh, one says you can drop the zeros. I like to keep them there, but you can drop them. You don't have to get too like kind of butthurt about how to do it. It's, you have fun with it. You're flexible. But 8-8 eight, eight in numbers is T-R-U-M-P, Trump. Because T is the 20th letter, R is the 18th, U is the 21st, M is the 13th, and P is the 16th. T-R-U-M-P, you add them all together, and it equals the number 88. The next one... 22 is the word MAGA. Trump plus MAGA, 88 plus 22 equals 110. The word president equals 110. And it's President Trump right on the rostrum every time without so he, And that's he's, it. He's, he's playing with these numbers as well. Like, I guess a lot of powerful yeah. people do this, right? Because that's what I'm trying to get at here is like, yeah. In my life, I was telling you before we started recording, I see synchronicities all the time, and I and I always try to make sense out of them because it's just it's beyond coincidence. It's beyond yeah. coincidence. Also, when I've done psychedelics, I saw the cosmic math of the universe, so I know that the universe was put together by a masterful engineer that was a mathematical genius. Okay, that that, that to me that's yeah. the revelation I had. So I told did you, you say before, revelation? Yeah. Okay. So. So that's really I'll go to that word. Yeah, carry on. Yeah. So that 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 is really what I, you know, I get synchronicities all my life, and I wonder what 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 is this? Because it's beyond coincidence. It's beyond anything that I can put together in my own mind. Um, yeah. Like I told you before, I keep seeing the license plate S H Y and S Y Y six to eight times a day. Okay. You know, and I and I it's beyond it's I it's 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 beyond comical now. I'm like oh, another S Y Y play, another S H Y. I'm like, am I just noticing it because they're just because I'm paying attention to it or what's going on here? But I've noticed that Tesla has talked or I I realize that Tesla has spoken about this. I've heard that um, billionaires pay attention to gematria and astrology. Yeah, uh, which billionaires do not. That's why they, that's what makes them billionaires, you know. So I know there's something to this. Yeah. But I could one could drive themselves crazy trying to figure this out, but you have taken this on head first and and you're you're trying to understand this. So you've made it you've 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 made sense of this. But someone like me explain this to me and what and why are numbers so important because I know the elites, they all follow a certain calendar. They go by certain days and dates. That's all part of this, right? Yeah, it's all of it. It's, I mean, there's different there's different sets of numerology or, or numbers or gematria. The one that I use is simple gematria. It's the most simple, but it's also the most beautiful. And I, in my opinion, the most powerful because it's the one that Trump obviously uses. So simple gematria, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. 
the order of the alphabet. Simple gematria comes to 148. Donald J. Trump comes to 148. You said that you get revelation when you did your trips a while ago. You got revelation. Tell us the number plates you get again. So it's SHY and SYY. Okay, so SHY in numbers comes to 52, which comes to heart, it comes to earth. SYY comes to 69, which comes to people, it comes to checkmate. But if you do 52 plus 69, it comes to 121, which comes to the word revelation. And you said you had a revelation with numbers. You knew I'm that, getting you know? them all the time. It's just, it's nonstop downloading process. That's it. And it's been ever since really, I don't know if I can just blame it on me or I can, is it because I'm sober now or what, what, what it is, but I'm, I'm getting, you know, these revelations, these uh, synchronicities much more frequently than I ever have before. And I don't know if it's just um, the awakening process that I'm in right yeah. now or, or what it is, but it it's is. happening so much. Yeah. Well, you're ascending, you know, so the work you're doing is affecting millions of people around the earth. And so you're having a positive impact impact on the field of consciousness of human consciousness and so this ascension process the word ascension in numbers is 99 the word patriot is 99 so when you say the patriot movement you're also saying the ascension movement and so we're rising together that's what we're doing we're rising we're raising the frequency the word frequency is 114 in numbers the word trump card is 114 in numbers the word history is 114 in numbers there's things you can do to raise your frequency, your vibration. You know, you can consciously think about things and work on stuff. You can take products that you do, that I do. I wear these things. They help me. Shanga organize helps with my frequency, helps protect my aura. There's, but you raise your frequency. Frequency is 114 trump card, but it's also the word history, 114. So we're changing history. You change history by changing your frequency. That's what, that's a key to what Tesla was talking about. He said, frequency vibration and uh, energy energy 74 which is gematria which are the numbers jesus is 74 messiah 74 muhammad let 74 me, all the children of abraham you know so let me ask you this i've heard that the royals uh elite families have cesarean section uh cesarean surgeries when they're gonna have a baby to have them born on a certain day so they can so they can have the power of that time of the month of that time of the day or whatever yeah uh yeah. time of the year that day of the year whatever um how important is this to a day of the year and the name that you're given what kind of power do you get what kind of power do you derive from a name that uh, your parents give you well i think so everything at the end of the day in my opinion is your intention so everything at before we came into this kind of fallen world, whatever this is, the matrix, the contract, you know, the, the fall of Adam, we're here in this 3D world and we're trying to get out of it. People die, but we're sending, we're going through the, you know, the life is very different from what it was prior 2020 for all of us. You know, if people have had the, if they're awake or awakening, they can see synchronicities, they can see numbers, they can see coincidences that happen 10 times a day, 100 times a day. So they know that something's up. So life is not what it said on the tin. But numbers can be used, I guess, in a bad way and also in a good way. Everything's from God. Intrinsically, it's good. But then you come in this kind of dark to light, the two, you know, your polar opposites, evil and goodness. So when you ask about the elites doing things on certain days, they've been doing that for hundreds, thousands of years. And so they have a collective group consciousness and intention that they hammer in and believe on those timelines, on those dates of doing those things. Conversely, we, the good people, the forces of light, we're taking the numbers back. Juan has said it many times about 17. That was, But we've basically kind of done a 180 and given the, the bird, and we've captured it and taken it back for ourselves. And so, so really, this, this war that we're in right now, we may see it as political. We may see it as, uh, you know, religious, whatever. But it really is a, a war of dates and numbers really, at the, at the, at the yeah. core, at the core yeah. of it. It's a war of powers of numbers and dates. Yeah. And num I mean, that's numbers. When we're really looking into this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you think of one way to look at this world is um, maybe we're in a kind of big virtual reality game, just for argument's sake, for analogy's sake. 
So if we're in a kind of matrix computer game, a kind of Pokemon Go, a th- you know, a, a virtual reality world, and it's very real, Einstein said, imagine, you know, he said <laughs> reality is an illusion, but it's very persistent. So if we're in this world, illusion is one, one, one. Computer is one, one, one. Perfection is one, one, one. New York is one, one, one. Um, the Kennedy is is one, one, one. Depending on your intention is is where the energy goes. And so if you have bad intention, you can still have collective bad energy. And that's what's been ruling the world for a long, long time. And now we're going through this from dark to light. We're waking up. You know, you're doing the Darth Vader thing. He was good. He fell. And then he became light again at the end. Everyone's going through that in their own lives. And so you're right. It's a battle for the numbers, for the dates, for the numerology. But I believe, I can't really prove it, but the more I peer into it, and this is for up to people to try and use their own intuition, their own experiences, their own synchronicities, the things that God's showing them through through repeating number plates, through repeating timestamps, repeating cooker clocks, WhatsApp stamp, whatever it is, the higher power is showing us that there's something to these numbers. And if you think of it just as a kind of coded program, a computer program is made up of ones and zeros. It's it's all numbers. And I think there's something to that. I mean, DNA, we're coded through DNA. DNA is numbers. Everything in the universe is numbers connected to letters. You know, it says in the book, in the Bible, in the beginning was the word and then came the numbers. That's the title of my book that's coming out. But it's like, it, it started off with the creation of Adam and Eve, dark, dark and light, the serpent, all that stuff. And it says in the beginning was the word, but then the fourth book in the Bible is numbers. So it's like the numbers are inherently in there. Everything is made what, up of numbers. So what can you find out about a person? Or I know you said it's intention, but what can you find out about a person just by simply looking at their name or a birth date? I mean, let's... What, what what kind of power, what kind of revelation can you get from somebody like, oh, my name is Tom and I'm born on this date. And can you find out everything you need to know about that person? Or are you just kind of like, ah, oh, that's interesting. Is it just kind of, you know, it's yeah. kind of like reading someone's horoscope. I, I When people tell me, oh, you're you're yeah. a Virgo. So you're like this, this, that, that, and this. And I'm like, not really, but I'll, I'll go with it. You know, but <laughs> you know, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, I don't really go, I don't fall yeah. into any of these categories or stereotypes with yeah. Virgo but but so what so what happens with me is I so numbers you can have a bad meaning and a good meaning I'm naturally positive 115 is is positive it's intelligent 115 is actually this is a good one it's the election date next year 11 5 November 5th and it's the date we're talking so okay so that's okay. the so question people be like, All right, so the there question. we go so okay. it's about the intention behind it yes and so what happens for me is I never go looking for numbers. What I do or what happens to me is I get a thought, an impulse, um, an intuition. I just follow my my gut, my nose. On I don't, I'm always excited for each day because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what I'm going to learn, but I always learn something new because something comes in. And I would say this to your listeners, and I'd say it to you. So you'll get thoughts, you get inspirations, you get repeating thoughts that pop up and you're like, I would say, start with that, whatever that is, code it out, get the numbers on it. And be like, okay, that's cool. And then within a couple of days, a week or two, you'll get like a kind of, I mean, write it down or just record it, you know, send yourself a text message. Okay. It's like Tom is 48. So I know all the 48s that pop up. Then what happens is the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, creation, your higher self can start to point you to more and more things. And so what I'm able to do is I get these inspirations, these downloads. Downloads is is 107, interestingly enough, which is which is quantum. Um, so the quantum can communicate through you. And the quantum is talking to you, Nino, through the number plates and other recurring numbers. It's happening to you more often so than it really, should. It's, it's materializing into the third dimension through what, the fifth? Yes, that's it. So the way it so but you so the way it materializes is through patterns. It comes in through pattern. However, and I don't put any limits on it. So I, I literally, I get the the inspiration, I get the thought, I get so. So I'll be thinking of a number, and this happens all the time. And I'm watching a film or the TV in the background while I'm doing numbers, and then they'll I've just done the numbers on something, and then they'll say the exact word I've just done, 
and that happens all the time. And I, okay, uh, we did a show, me and one at the weekend, and he talked about murder on the Orient Express. Guess what was on TV here in England? Like less than 24 hours later, murder on the Orient Express. It's like, but what like does that, that mean? So it's 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 confirmation to what you're on the right yeah, track. Yeah, it's, it's, it's confirming it. It's, it's, like, what does it mean? What does it mean? Well, it's confirmed for me. Everyone has to get their own meaning, but for me, it's confirming that I'm on track, and I get it continually. And I would say for the repeating numbers that you get, i.e., the number plates, it's like okay. What if a homeless guy gets synchronicities every day? <laughs> hey, yeah. all power to him. You know, he might okay. be an angel. He might, he might yeah, not he, be, yeah, but he might I, be. I take, I take that back because I've actually sat and talked to some very incredibly intelligent homeless people at the yeah. shelter. They, they, I take that back. So I think, I think what's happening is that the universe, God, the fifth dimension, however you want to call it, is trying to talk to us as much as we'll receive it. And I never, ever get hit up about uh, what it is it the other thing as well is there was a there was a religious leader years ago and he said basically the first impression is usually 99.9 .9 times out of 100 it's the first it's the first thing to go with i do that with numbers the first thing that comes into my mind I, and i got it i never i never waste hours like oh but it could be this it could be that i just go with the flow it's like you're in a you're in a river life is a river it's a constant moving river and it's like okay it means that at this moment in time great and I have enough uh, numbers under my, you know, under my uh, under my hat that I can use and turn to. But I just go with the flow, and and the first impulse. This is this will be my in my experience, and I'm pretty experienced in it. And I would advise people to look at this when they get numbers or synchronicities or impulses. Just go with it. The first thing that comes to mind is usually 99% of the time correct. 99 is ascension, so there's a there's a clue in that, you know. Um, and then oh. go with it. Be happy. Live your life. Enjoy your life. Fight the battle, but also enjoy your life. And just go with what it's going. And if it's a really important thing you need to keep getting, work it out. Get the, you know, get the get your pen and paper out, work out the numbers on it, record it. And if it keeps coming up, then maybe that's something for it. I can't speak for you. I can't tell you what you need to do in your life. I can't speak for anyone else. I can barely speak for me. There's a bit of tongue in cheek with that, but you know, I go with what comes in first and then I work out the numbers after. And it's been a really great blessing to me. I didn't know number, I didn't know this form of communication existed until the beginnings of 2020. But I was given, a, gift, I was given you, a download and someone, it happened and I and I accepted it. So let me ask you this. If you meet someone that you're not too sure about or you feel really good about, do you always work out their their name and numbers and and try to problem solve that? Or you just you just go with it? Or you just but yeah, I mean, so that's, is it that important? Is what I'm asking. For me, it's I. So the big, the the big reservoir of my intuition is the way I go. So if I meet someone, I'll go on the first impression. But sometimes that can be incorrect, and then I'll meet them and I see them in a few other situations. Oh, that's pretty cool. But sometimes you just get a natural feeling about someone, and also sometimes it can be different. You can meet them on the TV, on the screen, and then you meet them. Like for instance, with you, I'm going to say this publicly, but you'll enjoy it. So you're yeah. Nino and you can, you go through all the things. But I've met you a couple of times in person and you're a big cuddly teddy bear. Yeah. Like you're he's a big he's not scary, he's a big cuddly teddy bear. Yeah. You know? So you and go. I've met other people and I'm like, oh, I'm not totally sure, you know, I'll I'll part that. But with you, I was like, I always I never got any I always got good vibes with you. You're just a big cuddly teddy bear. You know? Thank you. <laughs> you are. I guess. You're I guess. Just, you are. You're not like ferocious or anything. It's like I've met him twice. I can be. I can be. People who believe that or not. Well, you can, but but the thing is, I go with energy, and it's like, you know, I've got a good energy, and it's like I, I was like, Nino's harmless. Nino's Fuck. a big cuddly teddy bear. You know, that's a good thing, right? Of course, it's a great thing. Because that's the thing, people. You know, it's all about energy. Everything is energy, man. Energy is seventy-four. Jesus is 74, Gematria is 74, Tarot 74, uh, Messiah 74, Muhammad 74, London 74, English with the language we took conversing is 74. It's all 74. So that's the power, and then and then and it's whatever the intention is derived from it. Or exactly. that goes into it. Yeah, exactly. It's like so the only thing you're is, gonna find out about someone's name is the power they have, or what? Yeah, so the thing is, it's like 
quite often you so i always go like i said i go on the first few impulses i get with someone and it's like this is great and then if i and then if it even occurs to me i might do the numbers on it but i will not do the numbers religiously on someone's name and then decide to go and interact with them or not i always go on my first hunches what the numbers are you know is it's like a thread it's like a thread that i can i can piece beads of inspiration beads of communication beads of synchronicities along and they can all connect the dots and uh i'm fluid with it i never get hung up though so if people want to drop the zero drop the zero if you don't want to drop the zero don't drop the zero i never get like fastidious about it it's it's a god thing it's fun it's 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 way it's okay, so if, you believe, if you believe in this and so you, you would you, i can confidently say that you probably have studied tesla quite a bit or no as much as I can, working, I'm fascinated by Tesla. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I, I love I love Tesla and I believe in Tesla. Tesla's 57. England is 57. That's where I'm from. Human is 57. Magician is 57. It's like, I'm all up for Tesla. My grandparents, who are part of my spirit guide team, because I have deceased relatives. I talk about my cousin Paul, my grandparents, Eileen and Sydney. I know for sure for me. They're part of the beings that give me guidance and numbers and confirmation. And their last name was Wood, which is 57, which is Tesla. And they lived on 43 Dovedale Close. Dove is the sign of the dove. Tesla held the dove. President Trump held the dove. And early on in lockdown, President Trump confirmed me. It was the second show I did with Charlie Ward. And he said, great job numbers. And I wasn't even known as Tom Numbers then. I'd just been given the name by Jack Kidd, Numbers. And three seconds in, President Trump said, great job numbers. And it was, you know, when he comes out on the tarmac and talks to the press, it was like yes. a two-minute clip. I think it was less than that. I think it was like one minute 40 or one minute 41, which would be Tom Bushnell 141 or 140. He Tom gave numbers. personal things to you? Yeah, he did. Yeah. And then to confirm Trump. it, yeah, he's Trump. He does it all the time, buddy. This is what happens with the numbers. Well, are you sure and you're not? Are, is there something you're imagining or is this real? No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened. Okay. So... A couple of days after I did my second show with, with uh, Charlie Ward, President Trump. So I was given the nickname Numbers. I never, and then the community called me Tom Numbers, but I never called myself. I just was like Tom Sidney Bushnell. Hey, I recognize the numbers. And then people around me like, you're Numbers. You said it to me last time we saw you. Hey, Numbers, you, you know, yeah, yeah, I mean, or Tom I, Numbers. I, I, that's so, how you're known, yeah. You're numbers. That's it, yeah. And it's a great one. It's like if you can have a, a name that it just – you know, comes off the tongue with everybody. It's brilliant. So I love it. I embrace it. Your and numbers, I'm out. Sancho. What's that? Your numbers and I'm Sancho. Exactly. Number Sancho. Yeah. And he's, and President Trump said, and this is the second one I did with Charlie Ward. So it was like, I was just kind of getting known. I'd already did, done my first video two months before. And I was talking about President Trump and um, 17 and Ivanka because I met Ivanka I she activated me in 2015 before all this started I, I got synchronicities then my cousin Paul had died his date of birth was January 18th which is 118 which is the awakening which is the storm the matrix and I met two chicks in Manhattan after I met Ivanka had the same date of birth as Paul 118 and I'm like what's the odds of that he just died so he was communicating through me uh, to me through their dates of birth Anyway, fast forward five years, we're going to, to the events of 2020. I'm studying Diana. I noticed her burial uh, funeral service started at 9.08 in the morning. Nine plus eight is 17. And then see Arlington Cemetery, all of that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then I, I did a video. I'm learning the numbers. And then I go on Charlie's show a couple months later. Second one in, President Trump comes straight out. Great job numbers. I'm like, and I felt it. It went right through me. I was you like, were there? No, I was. I was watching. So he's he's come out on the tarmac. You know when he come out and do the little press briefing off, off of Air yeah. Force One. So I'm watching him, and it hit me like a lightning bolt. Like he just said, "Great job numbers." And I was like, "That's my new nickname that they've given me." And then to get the double confirmation, my grandmother's name was Eileen Wood. She was called I Wood by her compatriots, by her sister Doreen, by her peer group. On 43 seconds, she lived in number 43, Dove Del Close. Dove is the sign of the dove. So they were good. They were guardians, my grandparents, to me. Space Force guardians. On 43 seconds, President Trump says, I would. He says her name in public. 
but he does it in double speak because the press have asked him a question. He says, do you think he would, intentionally meant to do this, or is this this uh, was it totally. just the it, universe speaking through him? It was just synchronicities. President Trump speaks. He's a fifth dimensional character. He speaks on the fifth dimension. I've got hundreds of these. He does it all the time, all the time. I know all my name timestamps. So when I listen to him and I go through a rally, I know when my timestamps are coming up. I've got five or six versions of my name. So I've got Tom. I've got Thomas. So you're I've looking at this at a completely different level than any anyone else would. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritual, and I can understand that. I get it. Yeah. But there's also other ones. Okay, you notice this one, the Darth Vader. So President yeah. Trump talks. I have the same one, bro. I have the same statue. There the same go. exact one. Night. Nice. Well, there you go. Next, next show. There's the got to right there. I have that statue in my in my room. I have that that exact one. It's about three and a half feet tall. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's the one, yeah. man. That's the one I got. I have that. Okay. So what does that mean? Okay, yeah. ready. So I'm going to tell you another conduit that talks to me through numbers and synchronicities, and I I think I've got a picture of it here, and I'm going to show you. So. Give me a sec. I'm going to pull this up. And this this will, I think you'll like this, man. In fact, I know you will because you've got one. I have one, yeah. It's, I've, and in fact, it's okay. Peter still in the box. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So I have that there. And when I do my News of Tom Number show, what I do is I pull up a newspaper clipping and I'll hold it to the screen just like that. And I'll show the audience. All right. So I decode the front of the newspapers sometimes. Quite often. Are you ready for this, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Let me turn uh, this off so we don't get interrupted. But I'm going to... Uh... So you've got a Darth Vader. So this is, the, this is the magic of the numbers, bro. You didn't know I had Darth Vader, and I didn't know you had Darth Vader. But lo and behold, we discover it today. So there's a newspaper here in England called Daily Star. Daily comes to 51, which is Jasara. Star comes to 58, which is Nisara. The daily star, Nisara plus Jasara equals 109. 109 comes to the name of my channel, Sight Club. But it also comes to the word Diana Spencer, or two words, but it also comes to the long form of spelling out the word 17. I'm not going to say, but... So daily star comes to 17. Okay, so there's a clue in that. But then, here we go, buddy. Can you see this? So we got and I do this all the time. I show the newspaper headline. So I'm going to show you a newspaper headline there. Can you see who's in the corner? Is that an alien or is that Biden or who is that? There's alien. There's ET. There's an alien. But then halfway on the on the left side, halfway down, there's a black character. Who's that? Is that Darth Vader. Darth Vader. That's, now, that's today. Gonna... That's today. No, that's a few months ago when okay. I did a show. When I did this, and I because I they know that I show now. Have you ever seen this with Darth Vader? What's Darth Vader doing? He's holding a fucking mobile phone. <laughs> okay, hold on. When was this? This was about three or four months ago. And what is it? How does that correlate for me having a Darth Vader and you having a Darth Vader? Okay, so I do these shows, News with Tom Numbers, where I'll. I'll get the front of a newspaper and I'll code it out for the audience and I'll tell them what's going on. All right. Okay. I'll tell them what I see in the numbers. Right. This newspaper always gives me God winks. It gives me Trump winks all the time. So they know that I do my shows with Darth Vader over my shoulder and I'm the one holding the mobile phone, but for them to wink and say, Hey boys. Hey Tom. Okay. That's... So they've got a picture of Darth Vader holding the mobile that phone. That sounds kind of crazy to me. Outlandish, but I can go, phone. I'll go with it. I'm open to it. I'm open to it. I'm open to it because now you're talking at a different dimension here, which I can get. A, I can be. A, I understand. Okay. <laughs> so that, All right. that's that's the fun part, Dave. Look, see. So okay. Yeah. I, I, hold I, up get the, it. I hold up the mobile phone, and they've got a picture of Darth Vader holding up the mobile phone. Yeah, you have to really be thinking abstract here. You got to really. You got to be. You got to be really understanding this at a different dimensional level right now. Yeah. This I isn't I'm like, a, you know, I'm, I am, I am operating on a, on a dimensional level. Yeah. This is a different dimensional level, but what does it got to do with me and you both owning a, 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 I mean, well, so I don't know, but let's see, maybe, you know what, maybe in the next few days, they might show Darth Vader again. And if they do, that's a nod to you and me. Okay. You better get all, you better let me know. 
I will. Next time we do a show, you've got to pull out your Darth Vader for a one-off. Yeah, right? I, I will. I will. It's right in my room. I mean, I, dude, I, okay. I have the exact same one. But can you see the funny side of that? It's like, yes, I I'm do. the guy it's, that holds up weird. the mobile phone to show the newspaper. And Darth Vader's always over my shoulder. And they're like, hey, all right, Tom, there you go. We're going to get Darth Vader holding up a mobile phone. Because I'm not familiar with Darth Vader holding up a mobile phone in any any. Do you reality. do this on every show or what? When I do my News with Tom numbers, I'll pull out the decode and it'll be me. You know, when you do your own, just you talking to the audience, yeah. I'll do it. And I'll show them. I'll say, hey, this came up in the papers today. And it could be any message. But what they did is they gave me that wink a few but months ago. you understand ago, that, keep on. that there's going to yeah. be a part of the audience right now that thinks you're batshit crazy. Hey, and you know what? I welcome it. Okay. All right, good. Just so you know, there's going to be part of the audience that's already... Hey, bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> bring it on. Okay, good. I'm making sure. I don't mind. So where does astrology fit into all this, Tom? Are you are you big on that? I'm not as big on astrology as the numbers, but I would like to know more about it. But I've always been into astronomy. So I love looking at, at the... And I'm lucky because I get to see, particularly in winter nights, I get to see Orion... And the seven sisters, the Pleiades pop up and Taurus the Bull and all and the you know the pole star and all the and it looks beautiful over the ocean and we've just had a, a full moon. So I love all that. But astrology, I uh, I'm aware of it from some people. But it's just as um, powerful, correct? It's just as powerful as the numbers. Well, thing, I've, right? I'm a, I'm aware of the quote that you said that trillionaires or billionaires, billionaires pay attention yeah. to the stars. Yeah, yeah. And guess and, and the re okay, so ah, there you go. See, this is a nice synchronicity. The newspaper that we're talking about is the Daily Star. And now you're talking about astrology. So Star, yeah. Yeah. it started me, it started, it all, the numbers all started with me when I met a certain star, and that was Ivanka. So Ivanka in numbers is 58. The word star is 58. The word stars, plural, is 77, which is Christ, which is power which is Hertz. Hertz is the measure, the unit of frequency, and frequency takes you back to Tesla, which is 57, which is human. Can you work out my name right now? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, I, what David, do you want? Well, I mean, I want to see what Nino is. David, yeah. Nino Rodriguez, and then just go give you so my David, real name. David is 40, which is US. It's also RV. So yeah. you're the RV man. I am as well, because Thomas Sidney Bushnell, 245, comes to currency revaluation, 245. But RV is Nino, 40. So 40 equals US, and you're in the USA. USA's TSB, my initials. But Nino, 40. Sorry, David, 40. RV, 40. US, 40. So let's do Nino. N-I-N-O. Dude. Oh, okay. What's the first number plate you keep seeing? Psi and S Y Y. So S S H Y, yeah. Yeah. Are you shy naturally? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. It's S H Y. So S H Y comes to fifty two. So I said that at the beginning of the show. That's the first one you keep seeing. So that also comes to heart. It comes to earth. Okay. But Nino also comes to 52. That's why you keep seeing it, man. The universe is winking at you. That's why you keep seeing it. So it's the universe trying to get you used to these numbers, these, these frequencies, these downloads. So they're telling you every day. That's why you see it 10, eight times a day. So S H Y, that number plate is 52. Nino equals 52. So now you know that, buddy. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. But so what is that? How's that going to help me? Well, what does it mean? This? So okay, 52. What I mean, what does that mean? Well, well, okay. Well, even if it doesn't help you, isn't it a cool thing to know that the universe takes time out of its day to wink at you eight to ten times a day? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, that's pretty cool. And you can take that however you want to. So how about this? David Nino. So 40 
plus, so David 40 plus Nino 52, 40 plus 52 comes to 92. And 92 comes to the word numbers. 92. Me and you right here, right now. You and me here, right here now. Right here, right now. Fat Boy Slim, right here, right now. Yeah. You know? I got to admit, man, this stuff is interesting. I, I don't know. I want to look more into it. I know what I saw, and a lot of people get angry when I say this or not agree with it, but, uh, well, tough shit. <clears throat> when I was uh, on plant medicine, I saw the cosmic fabric of the universe. I saw the numbers, you know, and it's mathematical. Everything's mathematical. So this is why I know definitively that there's that this is mathematics are involved in this universe i saw it i saw it so and it made sense to me so this stuff is not so far-fetched to me i just don't know if i can put an excellent explanation to everything as well as you can but that's why i'm having you on the show right now so you can help me and my listeners understand what's going on here because a lot of people have synchronicities in their life and they're trying to make sense of it and i do feel like it has to mean something because it's just beyond coincidence. Exactly. So for, the thing is, it's like just recognizing it, you know, it's like, okay, the unit, I'm noticing this repeated pattern of numbers of synchronicities, these, these occurrences. And the first thing is just, yeah, accept it, be grateful. Hey, it's great. The universe is taking time out of its day to, to nod at you individually and to your audience individually. And that in and of itself is just beautiful. So that's just a great comfort. And then if you want to delve into it further, start working out what the numbers are. And I'm going to let you into a secret. So the stop gap, the, the, uh, the narrowest point in the bottle was counting out the numbers. And for the first 10 days, maybe three weeks, I had to count them out one by one. So I had to go through that. So it's like a cipher to a language. You know, you speak French, you want German, Spanish, you have to go through a process of learning it. So my advice, if people are interested, is once you get fluent of being able to say A is one, B is two, C is three, and doing it quickly, that speeds everything up. I was getting the numbers. I was getting the inspiration coming anyway. But then I still had to do some mechanical things on the ground and just get fluent in A is one. Because I used to write them out. I was like, okay, I know it's there. And then it would take me a few minutes to work it out. But now I can just do it like that because I've done it thousands and thousands of times. But it took me about 10 days to three weeks just to be able to do it. A is one, B is two. And I'm just saying to people, it's worth that effort. If you, ha if you have the feeling, just go with it because then the universe can talk to you really quickly. That's why I can do it quickly. Do you, it's like, you it's, teach it's, like this, it's a conversation. Do you teach this on your channel? I do, yeah. So on my perks, on my YouTube perks, I do once a month, I do a, a, a group Zoom call where people can come and join and they can ask me to do their numbers and I'll teach them how to do it, et cetera. So yeah, we have a private group. And that's December. We have like a little workshop. Yeah, yeah. So if people want to do it, it's me. If they want to come on and join the group, there it is. And it's just on my YouTube channel on my perks. Yeah, yeah. I also have a, I have a, a book, like a download PDF um workbook and, a, and, a, and an audio course that just teaches people just want to do it themselves they can yeah where can yeah. people find you it's psych club on youtube yeah p-s-y-c-h club on youtube so if you just type in tom numbers it's about eighty-five thousand on youtube um you might have to scroll down a couple of times just because of how the game is played but i'm there tom yeah. numbers yeah yeah Man, it was good having you on, Tom. Uh, I got to jump on another podcast right now for Nino's Corner TV. But thank you so much for I, I find this stuff fascinating. I find it fascinating, and uh, you definitely clarified some synchronicities for me. So that's awesome, man. Thank you. Well, when you see S H Y, buddy, fifty two, it's Nino. So it's talking to you. Wow, cool. All right, Tom, take it easy, my man. Cheers, bro. Thanks for having me, man. Take care.